Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will see second part of Laravel 6 CRUD application, using Yadra data tables package, Ajax, and bootstrap model. And in this part, we will discuss how to insert or add data into MYSQL table in Laravel 6 framework by using Ajax with bootstrap modal. In previous part, we have seen how to use Yadra data tables package with Laravel 6 framework using Ajax. Now we have start discussing this part, so this is our Laravel 6 framework working folder, and we have go to sample data.blade.php view file. In this file, First we have create button, with type is equal to button, name and id is equal to create button, and in button text we have write create button. When user click on this button, bootstrap modal will pop up with blank form for insert data, here we have use bootstrap modal. This bootstrap modal sample code, First we have change, this modal id with form modal, after this we have change this modal header title, with text like add new data. In bootstrap body class, first we have write span tag with id is equal to form result, under this tag we will display form validation error or success message. Below this we have write, form tag with method is equal to post, id is equal to sample form, encryption type is equal to multi-part form data, this is for upload profile image. Under this form, first we have write, at the rate CSRF, this is for prevent cross-site request forgery attacks. For enter first name details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name, and ID is equal to first name. After this for enter last name details, here we have write, input type is equal to text, name, and id is equal to last name. Now we have create one input type is equal to hidden field, with name, and id is equal to action, under this variable we will store insert or edit operation name. For submit form data, here we have write, Input type is equal to, submit, name and id is equal to action button, and value is equal to, add. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, so here we have write, dollar with button id create records, with click event, so when user will click on create button, then this block of code will execute. Under this, we have first write, dollar with modal id, which is form modal with modal method, and under this we have write show, this code will pop up bootstrap modal on web page. After this we have write, dollar with form id sample form with on method, and under this we have write submit event, so when form has been submitted then this block of code will execute. Under this, first we have write event.prevent default method, it will stop to submit form data to server. Below this, we have create on action URL variable is equal to blank value. After this, 
we have right if statement, and under condition we have right, dollar with hidden field ID action, with value method is equal to add. This condition will check, if hidden field, with ID is equal to action field value is equal to add, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write action URL variable is equal to, Laravel expression, and between this, we have write root method, and under this method we have write sample dot store, it will send request to store method of sample controller. Now we have start write ajax request, so in first option we have write URL, and here we have write action URL variable, that means it will send request to store method of sample controller. In second option, we have write, method and in this option we can define which method of form data sending has been used here, so here we have use post method for send form data. In third option, we have write data, and here we have write dollar this with serialize method, it will convert form data into URL encoded string format and send to server. In fourth option, we have write data type, and in this option we can define in which data format we have to receive data from server, so here we define JSON, so it will receive data in JSON format. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server, which we can access from data argument. Under this, callback function, we have first write HTML variable is equal to blank value. Now we have write, if statement and under condition we have write, data dot error, if any validation errors has been occur, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write HTML variable is equal to, division tag with class is equal to bootstrap alert and alert danger class. Below this we have write, for loop and under condition we have write, count variable is equal to zero, count variable value less than value of data dot errors dot length value, and count variable value increment by one. Under this loop, we have write, HTML variable and under this variable we have append data like data dot errors with count variable index, it will store all validation error under this HTML variable. After this, we have write if statement and under condition we have write, data dot success, if data successfully insert into database, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write HTML variable is equal to data dot success, so here success message has been stored under bootstrap alert success class. For clear all form fields after successfully inserting of data, for this here we have write dollar with form ID sample form with zero index dot reset method, it will clear all form value. After this, we want to refresh data tables data, so here we have write, dollar with table id user table dot data table method, dot ajax dot reload method, it will refresh data table data. Lastly, we want to display error or success message on web page, so here we have write, 
dollar with span tag id form result dot html method and under this we have write html variable it will display success or error message on web page now we have go to store method of ajax crud controller which has been received ajax request for insert data request so here first we want to validate form data for here first we have write use statement with validator here we have import laravel 6 validator class which run validator rules against form data now we have go to store method and here we have write dollar rules variable is equal to array in first key we have write first name and in value we have write validation rules required same way in second key we have write last name and in value we have write validation rules required so this way we have defined validation rules in array format and store in dollar rules variable after this here we have write dollar error variable is equal to validator class with make method and under this method we have write dollar request variable with all method and in second argument we have write dollar rules variable here this make method of validator class will create new instance of validation if there is any validation error occur then it will store under dollar error variable below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar error variable with fails method this condition will be true that means form data has fails any validation rules and it will execute if block of code under this block we have write return statement with response method with json method this json method will transform resource into an http response in json format under this method we have write array with key errors with value get from dollar error variable with errors method with all method here this method will fetch all validation error and store under errors key which will be sent to ajax request but suppose there is no any form validation error occur then code will continue execute code now we have moved to insert data into mysql table for this we have write dollar form data variable is equal to array in first key with name like first name with value get from dollar request variable with first name object in second key with name like last name with value get from dollar request with last name object so this way we have store data in dollar form data variable in array format now we have write sample data class with create method and under this we have write dollar form data variable this method will insert form data into sample data table for send response to ajax request in json format here we have write return statement with response method with json method and under this method we have write array with key success and in value we have write data added successfully this method will send response to ajax request in json format now we have check output in browser friends first we refresh we web page after refresh of web page here we can see new create record button has been created 
4 add new data and below we can see table data in data tables. Now we have click on create record button, after click on button, on web page, we can see bootstrap modal has been pop up, and under modal we can see form field with add button. First we want to check validation working or not, so here we have directly click on add button, and after click on button, we can see validation error has been appear above the form field. So, here form validation has been working properly, so in first name we have enter Ronald and in last name we have enter Darby, and click on add button. After click on add button, we can see success message above form, and here in data tables also we can see inserted data also. So, in this part we have seen, how to insert or add records in MYSQL table by using Ajax in Laravel 6 framework by using Bootstrap modal. Now in next part we will discuss how to edit or update data in Laravel 6 by using Ajax with Bootstrap modal. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.